We are still with arithmetic sequence and in this video we shall solve two problems. So we shall prepare you in answering your modules and maybe you have a major examination coming up and problems like this might appear in your exams so we will prepare you. Example 2.8 find or finding the first term. Okay, A sub 1 stands for the first term. A sub 1, the first term, and D, the common difference given, given uh, two terms of the arithmetic sequence. So we are given two terms, A sub 1, A sub J, of an arithmetic sequence. The challenge to us is to find the first term and the common difference. This is the third term, 9. The tenth term is 58. So what is the first term? And what is the common difference? What is our strategy to solve this problem? You know what? We have done something like this. But it's not in the topic of sequence. It's actually in the topic of nonlinear systems. Because going back to your nonlinear systems, okay, this was our topic in conic section, the last part of conic section, we were also solving for the unknowns. What's x? What's y? So the structure of this problem is somewhat like that. And our strategy to solve this problem is also the same strategy that we used to solve nonlinear systems. So this is our solution. We have two unknowns. No, we have two known quantities, the third term and the tenth term. And the challenge to us is to look for the first term and the common difference. So we have two unknowns. Our first job is to produce two equations into unknowns. And we shall do that using this equation. This is our formula to obtain the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so this is the third term. 9, the third term, that is equal to the first term. So we shall use this. The first term, we don't know the first term. That is what we shall look for. Plus n minus 1 or 3 minus 1 because this is the third term. 3 minus 1 times d. And for this one, it's 58. This is the tenth term. 58, again, we shall use that. 58 is equal to the first term, we don't know the first term, plus 10 minus 1, that one, n minus 1, 10 minus 1 times d. This is a set of two equations with two unknowns, and we can write it in the formal way. So again, we, when you are solving problems like this, you should do it using the language and notation that we use in math. So when you have a problem involving two unknowns, okay, and two equations, you will write it formally in this way. So this is a system of linear equations in two unknowns. So we shall now write our system of two equations in two unknowns. That one. Look at that. It looks so uh, clean. It's clean. It's nice. It's simple. Okay, where did this come from? It came from this. We just simplified 3 minus 1 is 2. 10 minus 1 is 9. So we just simplified it. So how do you solve a system of equations such as this? Of course you know how to solve it. We have three methods for this. Substitution, elimination, and the graphical method. Well, it's easy to solve this through elimination. So the purpose of elimination is to remove one unknown and produce one unknown only in one equation or one equation in one unknown. So this is what we can do. We will multiply negative 1 to the second equation. And this is what will happen. And then we will add. When we add the two equations, a sub 1 gets cancelled or eliminated. 2d plus ne uh, negative 9d is negative 7d is equal to negative 49. Now take a look at that from something which is a system of two equations into unknowns. Now take a look at that. That is now 
one equation only and one unknown. So what is D? D is equal to, okay, so you divide both sides by negative 7. So negative 49 divided by negative 7 is 7. So we already got one value for one unknown. D is equal to 7. So how do we get A? Well, you can just use any of the equations in the system. So let's say, for example, you, let us use the first equation. Coming from this equation, a sub 1 is equal to 9 minus 2d. Okay, so that's it. So by substitution, a sub 1 is equal to negative 5. So take a look at that. We already got our solution. We already got our first term and the common difference. The first term is negative 5 and the common difference is 7. Example 2.9. Find the missing terms in the arithmetic sequence. Find the missing terms. Okay, so what is our strategy to solving this problem? So we must fill in these blanks. So what ought to be these numbers? Okay, so we must know the first term and the common difference. And we already know how to do that because that is just what we did. So our strategy to solve this problem is, first, we will look for the first term and the common difference. We already did that, but we will add another task. Using the first term and the common difference, we shall now compute for the missing terms. So this is a sub 1, the first term. This is the third term. So we can use this. After we have obtained a sub 1 and the common difference. So again, let us set up our strategy. We will write this system of equations in two unknowns. What are the given terms? What are the known terms? The second term and the, what is this? This is the sixth term, one, two, three, four, five, six. We know the second term and the sixth term, okay? So using this, we will now produce our equations. Again, we must produce a sub 1 and d, two unknowns. Let us produce a system of two equations into unknowns. So using this, this is your second term. So 4 is equal to a sub 1 plus, okay, 4 is the second term. So that's 2 minus 1 times d. For the next equation, it is 28 is equal to the first term. Plus, okay, so 28 is the sixth term. So, n minus 1, 6 minus 1, that's 5 times d. How do you propose to solve this? Well, let's do it again by elimination. So, we multiply negative 1 to the second equation. Then we add. a sub 1 gets eliminated. So, d plus negative 5d is negative 4d. 4 plus negative 28 is negative 24. So D is equal to, okay, you divide negative 4, both sides. So D is equal to 6. What is A sub 1? So you, you can go back to your system, okay, and solve or pick one equation to solve for A sub 1. Okay, so A sub 1 is equal to 4 minus D. 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. So we already have the first term, which is negative 2. We already have the common difference 6. So let us now fill in the blanks or the missing terms in our sequence. So this one is our first term. Negative 2 is our first term. All right. Negative, four, negative 2 plus 6, that's the common difference 6. Oh, so negative 2 plus 6 is 4. Okay, that's nice. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16, 16 plus 6 is 22, and then 22 plus 6 is 28. Yeah, we got it. So it falls exactly at 28. That means we did it correctly. And 28 plus 6 is 34, then 34 plus 6 is 40.